You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Why is the run gone? Favors the infamous. Start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Hello everyone, Proxy War here, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're starting a brand new campaign for Total War Warhammer 2 for the Vampire Coast. I'm sure you could tell that by the description, the thumbnail, and obviously the Vampire Coast background here. So the reason why we're starting a Warhammer 2 campaign instead of a uh, 12 12 Medieval Kingdoms is because um, I've had difficulty actually with the mod, I've never had issues with it before, um, but when trying to play it, it was very buggy, kept crashing sometimes, uh, you know, that sort of thing. I've, again, I never had that, I've, what I did to try and fix it, I uninstalled Attila, reinstalled that, uninstalled all the mods, reinstalled that, verified all the game files, I looked at different fixes as well, um, it, like amongst other things, and I couldn't get it working, so I thought, you know, Instead of stressing to start a brand new campaign of, you know, I wanted something lax, more fun, and just, um, more, yeah, more of a relaxed ga uh, game to play. So, we are playing as Count Noculus for the Vampire Coast for Warhammer 2. I made a little intro, I hope you enjoyed that, I thought it was quite funny, um, but that's just my type of humour. Anyway, uh, let's go over our faction effects and race attributes, etc. We'll start off with the faction effects, um, well, as you can see, we play as Count Noculus. From the Dread Fleet, faction effects are gain war declaration missions with unique rewards, power crew recruitment plus two plus two, so two percent is just plus two. Uh, recruitment duration minus one turn for Necrofex Colossus units, which is this bad boy down here, artillery monster, very very cool. Um, the the DLC has been out for a long time, so everyone should know that um, who plays it anyway. If you haven't, you know. You're in for some treats, they're really, really cool. Um, Lord effects, we got minus 20% upkeep for Necrophys Colossus units for the Lord's Army, and our weapon strength is plus 15% for large units, which includes them. Uh, we will be playing on hard and hard, reason being, I want a more relaxed time, like I said, so I don't want to play on very hard or legendary. I tend to play on very hard, is my go to. Um, but I figured it's something a little bit easier, just a little bit more fun, uh, you know, we'll go for that. Um, our race attributes, we have Infinity and Loyalty, Destroy, Sack and Raid and Build Reputation at Sea, whilst keeping Ambitious Commanders loyal and trustworthy by imparting riches and wealth to them. Power Coves, Gain Infamy and Leech Wealth from Unsuspecting settlements, uh, Settlement Owners, where the hideouts have been formed. Extra Powder, Boost the Firepower, Missile Units uh, can output in battle while they have higher levels of ammunition at their disposal. So, yep. Pretty cool stuff indeed. Um, let's get straight on into it.
They say Wolfheart's ship, the Vengeance, is sunk. Sixty cannons and two hundred souls lost to the deep. They say it was a fell storm that took her. Or some say it was pirates from the Maelstrom. They say she was lost here in the realm of Luther Harkon. And to trespass in these waters is to invite death on board. But then they know nothing. You waste our time. Wait! This is the map you are looking for, crafted by Captain Jacob Wolfhart himself. I beg your patience, for its secrets are easily missed. Mathlanka, Shemga. Witness Wolfhart's obsession, a life spent chasing tavern stories and myths. Sightings, eyewitness accounts, a hundred shipwrecks named and dated. Like you, Wolfhard knew it was no storm or jagged rocks that caused their demise. It was the Tide Maker, the ancient Merworm. The elves named it Amanar. Wolfheart's ship, where is it? Ah, yes, its final resting place. It was here he fought the beast, the fight to the death. All but one of his crew were lost. It was he who marked the map with this cross. The vengeance lies here. And if the story runs true, a weapon lies with her. A weapon to kill the unkillable. To challenge the beast is to challenge the sea itself, cursing all that sail with its retribution. Wolfhart sought infamy for killing the beast, but the question remains, why would your kind seek it? <laughs> Why all these storms? We go hunt. Yes, hunt beasts. I, no matter. My lord, we have the map. What are your orders? Kill the beast. Resurrect the beast. Rule the waves. Here, in the Galleon's graveyard, the raging power of the Maelstrom makes me all but untouchable. Only a fool would dare challenge me here. The deluded Caladorian elves have launched patrols into the great ocean. For this, they shall feel my wrath. The long-limbed Cretans are ever prepared for invasion, with much of Ulthuan heavily fortified, particularly their ostentatious capital, Lothurn. While I bolster my fleet for invasion, the shores of Araby offer other delectable targets, whose riches I will gladly take. The hapless Luther Harkon dwells nearby. A fellow lord of the night may be a useful ally, but his unstable mind also makes him a potential threat. Nothing, however is as important as the magic I draw from the Galleon's graveyard. I shall harness its strength and dominate the seas. All shall bow to my necromantic supremacy. All right, there we go. I'm not going to read that. That's fine. You can go away now. 
Um, mission issued, find hidden treasure by solving the treasure map's riddles using the dig for treasures. Um, I'll be here, yep, that's fine. I've never actually managed to um, get all the treasures and things. I only actually played this campaign once, but I really, really enjoyed myself. So that's why we are back. I just wanted something nice and fun to play. We are playing with very high, or high, um, or ultra, whatever, unit numbers, as high as you can get. Um, we've got a ridiculous ship just over here. Let's see if we can raise some dead, uh, just because we need some extra units. Uh, bloated corpses are probably one of the worst units in the game, so we're not going to bother with them. We'll get some of these guys. Nice. Alright, just so we got a little bit more numbers. And we'll fight this first battle. Oh, they are running. I uh, don't know if we can reach him. Oh, we can. Certainly not. Um, nice, we will fight this one. Obviously, it's the first battle. Okay, here we are on the battlefield map. And we can take a look at our cool units. So, obviously, the man himself, Count Noculus. It's, uh... Oh, where'd he go? Oh, can't really get that close. There we go. Yeah, I mean, you've got to say, graphics are as good as it can get. I mean, I have a 1440p monitor, which I usually play at the same, but for... YouTube, I have to play in uh, the 1080p, otherwise there's all sorts of issues um, when like converting the files over and then people watching at home like have half the screen cut, you know, things like that, so um, that's why I play in 1080p. Um, but it helps with the frame rips anyway, um, but if I was playing my own personal campaign, it would be 1440p. Anyways, so we got our zombie deck hands. Uh, I think they've got guns, don't you guys have guns? No, it's just swords. Okay, straight up swords. We got the depth guard, which is probably going to be our sort of, sort of best frontline unit. They've only got 60 um, men in a little thing here. Um, then we have the pirate, zombie pirate gunnery mobs, and the uh, handguns, and then the gunnery mobs. Okay, so these are two separate things. But these guys got guns, obviously, much better than anything else. And we got our walking artillery platform, which is the uh, necro. This. How do you pronounce it? Yeah, Necrofex. Freaking cool looking unit. I'm not gonna lie, it says part of ship, part of the crew, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Pretty sick, and obviously our main lord here. So we start there. Uh, we're not gonna gamble for the magic, we're gonna keep that at. Oh, uh, so we're not gonna gamble. Oh, but we won, hooray! <laughs> um, Alright, we'll start the battle. Um, nice. So what do we have here in terms of things? We've got this, there, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alrighty, let's get straight on into it, start the battle. Just gonna move the deckhands slightly more forward. And then we're gonna take the nice pirate gunners. Oh, is that cavalry? Yeah, shot cav. We're gonna pop you in front here. Along with the Lord, just to help protect the pirate crew. Death Guard, I think, can also come and protect them as well. Let's move the keyboard over so I don't have to struggle. Oh, come on, guys. Go, yep, go, go, go. Oh, see, there we go. They come in, shoot them. Uh. Yeah, that's not good. Oh well, Geth Guard didn't really intercept them in time. If you can, shoot them though. Fire! Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, if you can chase after them. You can go after them, please. Thank you. Get all the pirates in there. Can shoot them, please do. These are my hand gunners here. Load up, man. Open fire. 
Yeah, hitting them nicely. Good, good, good. These guys, the handguns, have um, got a little bit shorter range. But they can shoot as well while walking, which is nice. But yeah, well, we're definitely shooting up the, uh, the elves here. Oh. Come on, guys. Open fire. They're starting to break now, though. Good. Good, good, good. Breaking them. Start getting these guys in. We're going to need the Death Guard to help out. Same with you. If we can pop you in there. And fall back a bit so we can line up our gunning troops. Where's Count Noculus? Gonna need him to get involved as well. South ally. Let's give them a little bit of buffs. There we go. I wish these guys were a little bit quicker, but these are zombies, obviously, so. What can you do? It's good to be started a Warhammer campaign. I haven't done one since my... On the YouTube channel, anyway. Um, since the green skin one. I don't get really far on that. I can't remember what happened. Um, I think there's an update and it sort of stopped my progress or something. That's probably what happened. I can't remember. Massacre them. Open fire. Let's move the death card out of the way. As death wings. Give them death. There we go. Gunners going in. Should be shooting them. Okay, now it's charge. Oh, what's this? Race storm? There we go. Causes moderate amounts of magical damage. Good against armor. Use the magic, we managed. Shoot them! They've got like bayonets on their guns as well, which is quite nice. Okay, let's focus fire on that enemy unit there. Are you still shooting, my friend? I don't know if he was. You'll be shooting now. Boom! Fire! Need their lord to break. How's the depth guard? Haven't lost a single unit yet. Ooh, fantastic though. Come on, get rid of that kin. I say kin. Their lord. If you can break them. That's where you're fine. Uh, okay, you're gonna start shooting my own men in, in the backs now, so you can stop shooting. Come on, zombies, get in there! Let's get the zombies out of combat. Oh, there we go, he's broken now. See if we can wound him a little bit more, it be useful. As we're doing that, we can take a look at the uh, all the blows of corpses and stuff in here. There's tons of dead bodies in there. Upward fire! <laughs> I love this thing, it's so cool. Very, very cool indeed. Alright, let's end the battle there. Righty, we lost more than them, but obviously we're playing with zombies, so we're not exactly top tier. And we've lost one unit as well. Um, loyalty, share the loot. Minus 50 infamy. Alright, we're not going to do that just yet. I think we should probably ooh, take the treasure. Uh, assimilate captives, 4%. Do you fear death? Let's do that one. Raise them. Right, killed in battle. We've slaughtered him and we got an upgrade as well, so it's very, very good indeed. I uh, will go root marcher first as per tradition. And I think, do we, don't we have a. I thought we had like a 
agents, but I'm not entirely sure. Lords and heroes. So just the one looks like it. And we've only got the one captive, so then. See if we can start trading with the Vampire Coast. King the Awakened. The Your timing could not be better. Don't aggression. Absolutely. Nice. Uh, trade. This smells fishy. <laughs> It does smell fishy. Alrighty. Cool. That is that. Um, raise the dead. Get another one of these guys. Uh, we can do some... Edicts. We're going to go for... Um, probably dredge the sea. Get 15% growth so we can upgrade our... Um, main capital as soon as possible. And we need to do the same here in order to, um, you know, get these upgrades for our ships and everything. So, how much do we have? Uh, not entirely sure. Officer's cabin, that gives us plus two pirate growth, well, pirate crew growth. So, I'll definitely get one of those. And then, uh, dart launcher, we don't need that just yet, that's for towards the end. Casualty replenishment rate, yeah. Vampiric corruption, yeah, that's cool as well. I think we're gonna need some sort of a creature. Um, Paloms, yeah, we can go for the standard barracks Ethan. I think. Yeah, alrighty. Um, that's all we can do this turn. Treasure maps, yep. And then we've got pieces of eight. So in order to get our regiments of renown, we need to take on these um, pirate, like, yeah, sort of like pirate um, factions or... Yeah. See so here we can get the deck guard, pole arms, death guard, pole arms, yeah. So we'll, we'll get those when we can. Um, obviously, the higher tier unit, the more difficult it will be. Research available. Um, all right, let's take a look. So we've got command that gives us leadership. You know, I think that's probably going to be the best one just for starting things off with. Just get that leadership for the zombies because they don't have a lot. So the longer we keep doing the fights and without them crumbling, probably for the better. Uh, let's end the turn there. And that's our first turn done. Obviously, we'll go and pillage and everything. So, in terms of empathy, we are 14th out of uh, 14, obviously. Um, capture. You know, I'm not going up against the elves first. We should probably. Obviously, because we're building. What's going on here? Why can't we move? All will serve. Oh. As my power Stance none. There we go, so yeah, our campaign map movement range not a lot. We'll get some attrition going on through here. Interesting, why is that? Storm. Alright, what about through here? We've got one out of two crew. The uh, ship hauled here might be a good one because it gives us another power crew plus two. And that's how we get our growth up. And we can start getting the captains and the other units there. Very nice indeed. Uh, okay, so treasure map. Oh yeah, treasure maps. Yeah, that's fine. Raise the dead. What do we have here? More zombie. Need some more gunners. We've got 14 units now. All right, keep going. Uh, where is Richard's now? Yeah, I don't have any of them. Just trying to get... Remember what each uh, of these things do. Full speed. Okay. Let's not do that for now, in case we get like ambushed on the DC or get attacked. We don't want that to happen, do we? Oh. We've got some Orc boys. Flotilla of the uh, just in case they are going to attack us, we'll recruit some more units. We'll go down this way. Try and avoid them if we can. They shouldn't attack our main base here. Let's take a look at our garrison. Should be alright. We've got some Death Guard in there. 
another end turn. I just want to start getting some Pyro Coves up and running so we can start doing some pillaging. Technology researched. Ah, good. So now, Lord Recruitment costs us minus 75%. That's crazy good. Uh, protection Rackets, Quartermaster. Let's go for the Silver Musket Balls and Cutlasses. Yeah, he did. We have all of them now, but they did sort of leave us alone, so that's okay. Keep going. We sort of start pillaging some cities around here. So, technology. Oh, it's eight tones. So it takes a long time to do that research. But I mean, we are not going to get anywhere in a hurry. We're not. Like, have a time limit or anything, like the normal uh, Vortex campaign. So, that's quite nice. I mean, we can just go do what we want. Um. So like the, the the Vampire Coast playstyle is very unique, I think. Oh, they are coming after us. Um, we are making some cash. Get one of these. A blow to corpses can be quite good, especially against that. So we got some orc ball boys, or oh, it's biggins, war boss. Honor before glory. We can attack them, yeah. Raise the dead. Just buffing up our troops, yeah. Um, we can merge as well, and then get rid of you guys, disband you, and then raise another one. Yep. Nice. How are we doing down here? Need mm, three turns until the surplus, and then we can get that one up. What does that do for us? Gives us a little bit more income. Growth goes up as well. Vampire corruption and construction slots. Slots. So yep, we're probably gonna upgrade this straight away because we need to do that anyway to unlock new buildings. Oh, there's another pirate faction. This is oh, frost women. Nice. And turn. So this is the chaos sort of pirate faction. They are definitely chasing the disappeared. Uh, the populace in one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. What, uh, on certain nights, whole ghettos or, or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for remaining dissidents is a triangular symbol doubled on uh, the nearby gates or wall. Negative growth. Oh, that's um. They're stealing my zombies. Do you know who I am? So Knights of the Flame, what how big are you? You've only got the me. one settlement, do you? Alright, what's your garrison looking like? Um, Knights of the Flame. Men at Arms. Foot Squires. Okay, so he's got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's quite a lot. We'll see what our chances are. Their allies. Oh wait, Knights of the Flame. Oh, uh, they yeah, they got the Leonessia. All right. All right. And turn. It's a shame you have to like declare war, like instead of just um, raiding them and such. But I guess that's how else you gonna play that. Close victory, casualties medium. Is this like a proper siege though? Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Just want to see testing out the auto resolve. All right. Alright, establish Pirate Cove. You don't capture the settlement, but instead establish a Pirate Cove from inside it. Uh, from everywhere you can conduct business and leech the uh, leech off the occupier without them being aware of your presence. What's that noise? Raise, we get 200 infamy straight away. Unit replenishment. It's quite good. Same with um, sacking it. Get more cash. Leech from their labor. 
but we're going to be um, taking what we can. We are climbing that pirate cove established very nice indeed. Um, we march later. We'll sit there. So do we? Are we still at war with these chaps? Only the Grail companions of old could hope to best me. Uh, Yet you would. They don't want to peace out. I don't blame them. All right. Unassigned point. Ghost fleet casualty replenishment. That's quite good actually. Sea dogs. Um, inspiring presence. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for that next. Five turns. How long until we can get this next upgrade? Uh, one turn. Yep, that's fine. Bring ruin. Raise the dead. That's um. Merge up all these guys. Because we can replace them straight away. And the turn. Nice. So we gain. About 70 of their gold. It was quite nice. So it can be quite powerful if you hit the more like established, um, you know, sort of nations around here. So that's only making 30 gold, you know, so you want to hit the, um, so these guys are really making quite a lot of money. Let's go down this coast and see what we can find. Uh, we can also upgrade our Maelstrom, which we will do straight away. Burn the coastline. Uh, can we pop you in full speed ahead? Charge. There are treasures. Should probably try and capture one of those. And turn. It's nice we've already uh, started capturing some of... Oh, uh, that's a pirate. Oh, we do now. The world. Oh, no. if they attack us, the Dark Commodore. It's gonna be a tough fight because these guys got tons of armor. Undead there might have been a mistake moving up so close to them, especially in that stance. Oh, they've ended my non-aggression pact. That's not nice. Valiant defeat. Alright, well, we're gonna have to fight this one for sure. Casualty is high. What do we have? It's more than archers. I don't have tons of archers. Alrighty. We'll fight the battle. Okay. Not too sure where to deploy. We have the trees for sort of cover. What's the forest do? Should tell us. Reduces speed and combat efficiency of large units and allows some troops to hide. I don't think they have tons of large troops, so we're gonna pop our deckhands sort of there. We're gonna put our some gunnery mobs. Uh, let's do two for now. Pop you guys in there, sort of come around if you can. And then we have to protect our sort of front with the depth guard, like so. And then put Canoculus on this side. He's a bit battered, but hopefully he can stop anything that's going to attack our zombies. Um, start the battle. Oh, these guys are not exactly hiding. So let's see if we can pull you back a bit. We may have more troops with the zombies, so <laughs> the quality is definitely not with us. But I'm hoping the um... oh yeah, these guys are definitely going to be coming for these guys. Why aren't you hiding? Can you not hide because you're zombies? Makes sense. Let's pop you, put you guys there. The grave guard, oh, not grave guard. These are death guard. I'm gonna get that confused a lot, so bear with. Yeah, shoot the cavalry.
Man, these things are so cool. Open fire! Nice. Dual sword infantry. Let's just intercept that cavalry unit. Oh, yep, just in time. Let's take you off um, that. Nice, okay, let's get these guys shooting them. Interception. Let's intercept these guys. Let's get the um, Oculus out of there. Let's use you to get in. Oh, they're damaging my units there, but done tons of damage though nice these guys are broken Are we doing kill 400 of them so far? Oh, we'll pop one of these abilities here. Oh, these guys are breaking. Oh, gosh, where's my Noculus Tower thing? Shoot them. Run the flanks. We're going to need some cavalry units, or the scurvy dogs at least. Death Guard are trying their best to hold on the front line there. Zombies, beat them back if you can. Trying to beat them when we can. Halt, Noctilus! Oblivion! Oh, deckhands here are falling for sure. Oh, this is going to be the first defeat straight away, maybe. Just the archers are really, really good against our um, pirates, our zombies. Charge them. Use some of the spells here. It's going to be very, very close indeed. Let's get rid of that arch unit. Nice. Keep going. These guys are breaking. Nice, no, shoot them right in the face. I shall dominate. Harnessing the kill. Are you guys still fighting? No, you're not. Let's use the death guard push up. They are anti infantry, so. Shoot them. Shoot them right in the face. We've won the right flank, but we've lost the left. Oh, 
Oh, the spears, though. Shoot the spears. Because they obviously are anti large. Get if we can shoot them. Need to kill their main general. Gunnery mobs holding fast. Get rid of those bloody spearmen. But Death Guard are barely holding on in there. Powder wet. Do some augmentation. Get rid of these guys. Shoot them. Oh, these bloody spearmen are coming back. Let's just break this unit if we can. Use the death guard to shoot them back. Get these spearmen. Shoot them around the back. Oh no, 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 no. Get out of there, get out of there. Run, 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 run. Ah, uh, with the Lord dead. It's going to be hard pressed to win the fight. It was very, very close though. But obviously we, our leadership crumbles straight away without it. Oh, we got a, a loss straight away. But I think the Death Guard don't have it. The Berserker Axe Infantry. Come on, you scallywags. Shoot what we can. Now the Death Guard hold him in place. Our armor penetration on the guns should help. Come on, shoot them. I know you got pistols only, but we can speed up here, I guess. See if we can pull it back. Shaken, taking damage. It's very close indeed. We just need him to die. Come on, take him out. Oh, oh. It's almost dead. But so's our in here oh victory Woo! he's still alive in the battle there Pyrrhic victory I'll take it alrighty I'm going to replenish hopefully no one else attacks us I think we're gonna have to fall back just just to um, get some troops here so we'll be wounded Hmm, murderer. Yeah, we'll get you. Admiral of the fleet. Our wound has been. Our lord has been wounded. Sails up. Let's get out of here. One of your cronies has sent an interesting, uh, intriguing message, um, Captain. It seems that a mysterious pirate sh um, shattering our movements, passing through the. The taverns along with the coast asking suspicious questions is no friendly terms. We'd best be vigilant. Right. Clocking a course. All right, let's Next get. Time. There's no dead currently to raise. Don't Never. think they can hit us. Oh, they might Ridiculous. just be able to. Absurd. Impossible. No. Admiral of the fleet. Need to keep this thing alive. That's the most important thing. The tides are against us. That's um. End the turn. See what happens. Making 2k a turn, but it's business of despoilment. 
There is no time. Uh, trade agreement and payments. Ooh. That's going to take us ages to recover. But reliability. Be a reliable captain. Let's see what happens if we do that. Uh, raise the gunnery right. Or, or, yeah, let's go for gunnery right. Sort of help buffs our troops. Hey ho. Kill. What can we get here? Can't get you. Rusty pistol trove. Get some gunners. Or oh, get some mortars. Yes. Get some. Oh, we can get these as well. Oh, we can get both. Compare corruption. I don't think we need to worry about that really. Just based on our location. So that's infrastructure. Can get these creature things as well. Sirens and the Leviathan. Uh, but these are also quite good from what I understand. Not the foul bats, but the deck hand gunners. Hmm. Let's go for you. And we can obviously upgrade you so we can get the pole arms. Land folk are weak. And we need to replenish anyway. Hero's not moved. I wanna pop him in the army. He's got his own little pirate ship. How cute is that? Um and the turn me. Ah, uh, it's because you're in Force Marsh, but let's try and get back to replenishment. Ah, uh, our research is done. Think that's going to help. The firepower. Missile strength is straight up in three turns. Yeah, let's get that. Get the training as well. We are replenishing now. I just want to heal my um, Necrofix. Cool. Darkness comes. Oh, that's a quite an intense first three turns, though. Managed to establish a cove, which is nice. And do the same elsewhere. There's all this to pillage, but I would like to come down here first. I think. Then the turn there, because we are just sort of healing up here. Oh, who's that? Are they chasing? Are you chasing me? Unlikely. Well, they're gonna suffer some attrition and stuff now, so. Never. I have sailed the world. Exactly, fam. Navigating. Let's raise the dead. Let's get some troops back. Nothing major, but something. Um, I think there is a recruit. Uh, can we not recruit normally? Oh, it's been a camp stance. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame. What about globally? Yeah, I can't do the globe. Okay, that's fine. The crew are restless. That's okay. Um, if they do attack us, we got the uh, garrison as well, so it's not too bad. I think we're actually for a battle here. I would love to see what the settlement looks like. Um, if it has like a unique settlement, I'm not too sure. That's in the turn. Oh. Yeah, see there, he's taking attrition and stuff now as well. Ready for duty. Reinforce the front line. Fodder, no more. Fill him with lead, I love that. Um, oh, 42 pounders. Mm. Surely you can, um... Disband him. Master. Okay, I managed to figure it out. So to recruit him again properly and then disband the other one. <laughs> However, I think that's where I'm wrap things up for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below and subscribe to see more Total War content right here on the channel. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.